Okay, looks good. Looks like we're live. Ooh, hello everyone. Nerui here. <clears throat> and welcome back to the... <clears throat> I'm not even sure what to call this. Uh, I'll call this. It's... I mean, it's one part sanity. It's one, uh, one part action. It's a little bit of drama in there, but... Whatever we uh, are going to call this experience... Welcome back to the uh, to the wild world of Yakuza. <clears throat> so, I've d done a little bit of off-stream grinding to just uh, to uh, level up and power up, up Majima a bit. And similarly to when I did so with Kiryu, I ended up finding myself being dragged into a bunch of, uh, a bunch of di uh, different uh, sub stories. Some of so which make me a little concerned about how these might play out, considering how the I still I still I don't I still think I've quite gotten over the uh, the horrible awkwardness which was the uh, dominatrix sub story. Yeah. So, we're going to go around and actually see to finishing out some of those ones I got dragged into. And if and then try and pro progress the main story a bit. Okay, so... Where to begin? Where to begin? Ooh, this is going to be fun <laughs> of, of sort. Now yeah, let's see. So let's try and get my bearings. Where in the heck am I? Oop, there's a fight up there. Ooh. Ooh, a few fights here. So might as well pick up a little extra cash while I'm here. Oh. Howdy, ha ha Stormy. <laughs> Frozen chaos in the streets of South Korea, got an eye? Yeah, a little. <laughs> I'm sure you'll understand my my greetings. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, basically, while I was doing some of the off-stream gr uh, grinding, which I was successfully able to get every uh, t uh, get enough to for, for every single uh, two uh, two million yen upgrade for uh, for Majima, which. Basically, allowed me to get every single health no uh, node for the slugger style. Hmm. So that was neat. And honestly, I your yeah. best method for getting money with Majima, Cowboy Club is our mini game. Once you finally unlock it, uh. you don't have to actually complete the. Uh, you don't have to complete the leagues. You just uh, just like keep playing it. Just like play the mini game itself. You get a bunch of money. Ah. Uh. Obviously, completing it to 100% will um, unlock something nice, but. Mm. It's a great way of actually just grinding off stream. Ah, uh, I'll have to keep that, uh, keep that, uh, that in mind, because I actually got a little bit lucky, and somehow I was actually able to survive and actually win a, 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 a fight with a Mr. Showdown. Mr. Shakedown, you mean? Uh, Mr. Shakedown, yeah. He's a lot easier to beat if you just cheese it with Slugger style and just heat action your way through. And just like heat action with Slugger, heat action, Slugger. <laughs> <laughs> heat action, heat action, heat action. Yeah, it's basically more or less what I uh, what I did. So yeah, while I was doing all that off-stream farming, I got pulled into uh, the start of four separate sub stories, and looking at one of them right here, right now. 
what appears to be some mo a mother who was trying to get her child back from a pair of people wear dressed in white who I can only basically roughly describe as basically her daughter signed up with some kind of cult. Good. Yes, the Order of Moon on Chohept Onast. Oh, sorry. Manancho. Except the last. <laughs> okay. Yep. We yeah. those. Yeah, that's not the only one I got pulled into. That was the actually the last one I got dragged into before I uh, wrapped up my uh, my uh, my off stream fa uh, farming. I also got pulled into. There's this guy in a business suit. I'm assuming he's some kind of tax person because he was being. Jumped by four uh, four people uh, people in the back alley who are very upset about s having to pay sales tax. Oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. To be fair, if you've actually played the rest of the series up to Reactor Five, you'd probably get a lot of these inside jokes. Ah. Uh... Let's see. There was also this one guy who just came, bumped into me coming out of the uh, alley, who was making it seem like he had this very mm. really big, really important uh, emergency thing he needed to do to get to a uh, get to a convenience store in order to buy lip balm. Ah, uh, yeah, I know him. And lastly, the one that got the most intuitive because it, a lot happened all at once was this one guy just uh, just poking his head out of an alleyway and then drawing me into a fight because apparently someone stole his pants and there were so many camera shots aimed right at his, at his tidy whities yeah you'll actually find out in a later game who exactly was who stole his pants <laughs> You'll find yeah in, in a later in a later game you will find the adult version of the person who stole his pants. Lovely. Oh, don't worry, he's a main character. Oh, jeez. Technically, the actual side, the sub story in that in Yakuza Zero, which was released after the original, the original five. Um, is a reference to the main character in in the main like, in, uh, the main character in that game. Mm. It, it's more of a it's more of a, like a um, little continuity nod. Well, reverse continuity nod because it's you know, exactly the same as a prequel, but you know. I'm going to be in for quite the ri a ride as I go through this game series, aren't I? You certainly are. Though, word of the warning, when you get to Yakuza 3 Remastered, if you're using the remastered version, mm -hmm. it plays more like a rem uh, just like a graphically upgraded version of its original counterpart. But the heat actions and the movement style feel a lot more old school. Hmm. Like, PS... It definitely feels PS3 era. <clears throat> which is when, obviously, like... Which is what the, um... What Yakuza yeah, 3 original released on was PS3. Yeah. It definitely feels like a PS3... Like an early PS3 era game. Like... Yakuza yeah, 0, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2 run on the more modern system. And those, so they run on the more modern controls. In fact, Zero and Kiwami One run on the more modern system with the fighting styles. Three doesn't have that. Hmm. <clears throat> it it's definitely a jarring change going from Kiwami Two or Kiwami One or even Zero to Yakuza Three. <sighs> It's probably gonna take me a bit, a bit of time to get to Yakuza Three because I gotta get through Zero, Kiwami, and Kiwami Two. 
Oh, it'll definitely take you a while. Mm -hmm. And four, five, six, and I think Like a Dragon is next after that. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, because Like a Dragon, yeah. Unless you're going for... Um, unless, of course, by that time, Like a Dragon, Gaiden... Unless, unless Like a Dragon Gaiden comes out, uh, before, uh, uh, of course, Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who wrote his name, which is set oh, no. for, um, Yakuza 7. Yeah, it's set, it's set in between Yakuza 6 and Yakuza 7. And still follow it. Mm. Well, it technically still follows Kiryu, but at the same time... Well, without spoiling anything for the- oh, I can't really discuss it without spoiling the rest of the games. Or at least without spoiling Yakuza 6, I can't. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, I'm spoiling a major, major plot point in Yakuza 6, and a, po uh, the plot point that... Obviously, because we all know Key would have to show up in Yakuza like a dragon, if we... At least I think he does. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, I probably does. No, no. Yeah, yeah, you already know that he shows up then. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I do know because I remember seeing clips, uh, uh clips with uh, like one of those uh, countdown videos, which uh, I think it was a mm. video about main char uh, characters you played as who were the who were bosses in the in the in the in the, in the uh, following games. Yeah, he'll be showing up in the next like a dragon game as well. The um, yeah, because like a dragon is followed, but. He'll be followed by, um, he'll be one of the two playable characters and like two main protagonists in Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, which is the next one in the series. The one that follows Yakuza Like a Dragon. Because Like a Dragon is the series, it's the, it's the series name in Japan. But they're, they're just dropping the Yakuza, the Yakuza name now, so technically, well, technically Yakuza 7, or as we know it, Yakuza Like a Dragon is... It's technically sharing both countries' names. Uh, it has I, a different name in Japan. I can't remember what it's called, though. Uh, uh, on, on the uh, Western localization, so people uh, people for sure understand, it's still part of the same franchise, but just a, di a, di a, but a, diff a different major lead. Something like that, yeah. In fairness, it was the yeah, major dude. turning point because it originally originated as an April Fool that turned out to be true and a bunch of that, but main thing is in the n the next Like a Dragon, as I'm going to start, as I'll refer to this series from now on, um, in Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, both Kiyu and um, Ichiban will be main characters, both of them will be playable, and they'll both have their own followers separately. So they're both basically, you've got two separate main characters, kind of like in here in Yakuza 0, where mm. you got Majima and Kiryu are both protagonists. But, um, Infinite Wealth will be using the same the same RPG mechanics of, like, a dragon. Luckily, like a dragon, Gaiden, the man who wrote his name, will not be using those mechanics, it'll be using the traditional mechanics established in Yakuza Kiwami and Zero. Hmm. So it'll have multiple fighting styles. But apparently it only has two, as far as I'm aware. It might have more, but the only ones that have been announced for now are the two, are the Brawler and the... Agent fighting style? Whatever the hell that is. All I know is that's part of the advertising. Big part of the advertising for that. Okay, looks like I'm now going to go and infiltrate and join a cult. We're not jump. The best part is I'm actually doing the gesture as well. <laughs> when I say that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh my. God. To be fair, those all those all all this, all those gestures are fully voiced. Uh, they actually went into the effort of fully voicing st stuff like that, so it's not silent. It's actually... All the greetings and such are voiced. Uh, the Order of Munan Chohet Onast. Probably, uh, probably getting get, uh, might be getting that, uh, that uh, pronunciation off, but... 
<laughs> Muna cha 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 what now? Trust me, the uh, order of Munan Choho Ernast are well. Trust me, you know a little more about me. You think the leader was a sleaze? The irony of me is that the first thing I do with starting with a quest surrounding a cult, considering the last stream was me playing Cult of the Lamb, is not exactly lost on me. Very fair, but in this case, this is just like, this is more of a. Um. Well, it's more of a rift. As we'll see. Cult of the Lamb, you're actually the chosen of a bunch of dark deities, if I recall correctly. Whereas with these pajama clad weirdos. Well. Yeah, but here we go. Munan Chohet Onast. Or, I hope I've got this right. No. I'm still a little shy, uh, uh, shy about some of the potentially more out there si uh, side eye quests, considering uh, what happened with that one certain si uh, side quest that happened back with Kiryu. What the um, how to train your dominatrix? Yes, that one. I was thoroughly unprepared for that. I mean, huh? you're expecting maybe the Adams family? You know what? At this point, if they actually did somehow show up in here, I would not be surprised. Oh god! Oh god! Majima or Kiryu having having for some strange reason, re some strange reason, having to beat up cousin It. God damn it! It's a pop quiz. What? I love who's lampshading that. <laughs> but it's basically a pop quiz. <laughs> Hi. A 
chastening. Eh? Chastening. Chastening. See, the chastening is some kind of punishment. Or the kind of drawing from the ba base word chase. I'm just gonna make a uh, 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 take a wild and crazy guess that involves a, a, a vice and uh, some rather sensitive areas. No, chasing is simply, um. Chastening is simply, uh. Well, chasing is a rebuke or a. Of misfortune, you know, having a strain of moderate effect, essentially. Punishment. Mm. Okay. So, trying to make sure I remember this there. Shore Pippi. Boy. Shore Pippi, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying. Do you not hear it? Yeah, and just seeing it recontextualized as Shore Pippi. Just getting way too giggly at. So <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> oh my god! Wait until you get to Yakuza's Yakuza's Kiwami 2. Oh my god, that one gets very weird. Oh no! Especially, don't go near Club Sega. You will. You. You know what? I'm not gonna spoil it. I I'll tell you when you get there. Eventually, when you finally get around to playing Yakuza Kiwami 2. Yeah. Something tells me it's gonna be another one of those ones where I can just take the whole clip of just me freaking out during the whole thing and, and just potentially download and upload it as a little mini episode by itself. Yeah, and it's gonna turn into a running gag. Trust me on this. This one will turn into a running gag. I just, I just don't think I can say it aloud now, because I'm just going to start giggling. Yeah. Just, uh, do you need your shirt of pee-pee? And I can just hear them all chanting that. Yeah. 
I did say it was fully. That the, 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 the chanting was fully voiced. Crack it down, uh, down, dump on Kalariori or claim to be Munan Chokhept. Uh, Kalariori. Or well, Lori, whichever it was. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's. it's... No. Classic brainwashing. Oh, oh boy. Mm. Well, I should say classic, I mean textbook. Mm hmm. What are Manan Suzuki. Sell all the brews. Munancho. Ah, that pose is so stupid. <laughs> okay, I'll be I'll be fair. When I did it, I only did the hand gesture, and I think I did it backwards. <laughs> Then again, I'm sitting down, I don't have no room to do the thing. That's kind of obvious. A mm -hmm. hundred thousand yen. What <laughs> Hey. 
Okay, yeah, now this is starting to stink more and more of, uh, of, one, of one of those... Yep. Right, it is gibberish. Oh no, and he's and he's about to go where I think he's going to go, isn't he? Yes, he is. I said you. Th I said you think the guy was a sleaze. This guy wants to get his share of pee, uh, pee pee all up and lively. Ugh. It just and just that little bit of sleaze took, took it from being giggle worthy to just ugh. Oh, don't worry, it'll go back to being giggle worthy for a different reason, though. <sighs> Become this one. Yep. That's uh, that's really not cool for. They're going to fuck. To express gratitude, that would be Onas, if I'm not mistaken, right? That would be... That is correct. Excellent. And yeah, uh, yeah, Machua, uh, you were right, it was a pop quiz. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, I can. It still gets me giggling when uh, 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 when that sleaze bag is out of the room.
Hey, the theme's changed to Bacchus's theme. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the, the left hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Actually, you can, if you wanted control. to get it wrong, you could always choose to do the hustle, <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> He'll get annoyed at you if you do. <laughs> Munan Suzuki. And like before this is done, I can make sure this this lease has sure a broken PP. Uh, there'll be no worry. There'll be no need to worry about that. I'm sure you'll be satisfied. I'm <laughs> sure you'll uh, you will definitely leave this this uh, sub so satisfied. I do not want to see his special sure. <laughs> hmm. Sure, PP moved me. <laughs> Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. <laughs> the correct option. Now you're gonna beat the crap out of him. Don't forget to use a couple heat actions on him. Uh, 
to lock onto targets, don't you know? Use the right bumper. Use the left bumper to block and the uh, A button to trick stuff. Got a nice bit of cash off with him. You also got your ass partially kicked by him too. <laughs> I'm surprised you did so badly. Uh, I'm still not exactly an expert at this uh, this yet. In fact, he actually calls them dipshits. <laughs> A nice wholesome happy ending to that one. Uh, that one. Yep.
Okay, that that was so that was quite satisfying. And I see a Mr. Shakedown. Do you want to risk it? <clears throat> I mean, I was able to take one down before, but that was also basically come uh, uh, basically doubled as the. Uh, Pract uh, uh, pr the first instance, the practice one for, the, for, uh, ma for Majisma's Mr. Shakedown. There's also the fact that this one is, um, he'll have leveled up. Every time you beat Mr. Shakedown, they level up and become tough, and each Mr. Shakedown becomes tougher. So, um, I'm successful every time you beat him. So, yeah, there's that too. Yeah, so basically, not only does he cause more death, does he hit harder every time. Every time you hit, you get into a fight with Mr. Shakedown, he, um, well, every time you beat him, he becomes tougher to beat. So, like, he'll hit harder and have more health every time you get into a fight with him. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure if they level individually or as a group, though. That is a good, a good question. I know there's at least six Mr. Shakedowns in total, because there's like three in Sudbori, three in Kamarocho, and I think you can only encounter them if you're a local to the area. So... Yeah. Obviously, eventually, eventually Majima will, as we know, as we, prob as we know from the rest of the games, he eventually will get out of Sudbori, he won't be there for the rest of his life. Also, have you been practicing karaoke now? A little, a little bit, but yeah, I still probably have a fair bit to go to uh, improve uh, further on. That. All right. And I tried to do a karaoke like mini game in um, Yakuza Two, mm -hmm. because Haruka requested me to do so. The, the little brat accused me of having a cold! Then again, she, she wants you to get like a 99% score. Yeah, I've not gotten anywhere near that. No, she wants you to have a 99% score on one of the hardest friggin' songs in the game. Which is like... It's like almost a hundred percent on like one of the game's hardest characters. Oof. That sounds like uh, like a uh, like a, a royal pain right there. It's one of her. Uh, I think it's either one of her certain bar requests or her camera requests. I'm not sure. I know one of her things. One of her requests she, she can give you in. Certain Bori is going to the golf. Is going to the bat. Is going to the golf place. I was going to say batting cages, but no, it's not the batting cages. It's the golf. She wants you to basically get 100% on golf as well, which is extremely bloody annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Now for to get this one.
Hmm. Three percent more as tax. And I'm trying to, I don't. What I'm trying to remember. What are the uh, current tax rates? I'm not sure if that's kind of low, uh, kind of high or low. Because I haven't actually looked at the actual percentage of tax rates. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, last I remember, it was still in the, uh, po in, the, in the less than a whole per per whole percentage, like a point something percentage. So yeah, that does sound like a rather a rather bi a big tax rate. Ah. Dealing with absolutes, the Sith would be proud. Tayo, huh? That's one thing uh, that people can definitely get, uh, get uh, testy about, taxes. Okay, 
let's see where this advice goes. A financial crash? <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, that's the canon result of this conversation. <laughs> A few years down the line, it actually results in Majima single-handedly causing the end of the bubble period and causing a financial crash. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this line of questioning that leads to the bubble bursting. Pretty much. I believe I believe the correct answer should be is well is to provide public services. Or why the government collects taxes from the people. Yes, that is correct. Adult entertainment, tobacco, and uh, tobacco. <laughs> eh, yeah, tobacco then. <laughs> Taxing air. Gasoline. Yeah. Oh, and I, yeah, I'm definitely familiar with how expensive gasoline can uh, can be, Espe especially in places with ho a high tax rate. Yeah. 
Golly. Yeah, this is the advice that ends up causing uh, uh, causing the market to collapse. Five percent, eight percent, fifty percent. Eight. Yeah, fifty way uh, fifty way <laughs> too high. Oh, if someone has anyone tried to raise the taxes to fifty percent? Oh, I don't even want to think about the kind of bloody revolt that would come from that. See ya. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. Well done, Majma, you just screwed over your own country. <laughs> <laughs> This guy. Okay, 
hand over some medicine. Tough Nazil will do it. Mm-hmm. Ah. What's up with the lip balm? Here. Oh. <laughs> this one ends in tears. Oh dear. I can see that. I see the potential for that because this does not sound like he is in a healthy relationship. He's not. What kind of nickname? Okay, let's find where Aaron Coon ran off to. And also a quick save. Okay, where, where could, uh, 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 could our lovesick little Aaron boy be?
Okay, nothing showing up on the map showing me where he's gone off to. So I'm just gonna keep on wandering around, see what I uh, see uh, until I find him. Many bikers and punks around trying uh, trying to get in my way. Oh my, we got a, got a new follower. Uh, uh, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, your name, but thank you for the follow. Uh, Memiyasogo? Um, 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 Am I pronouncing that right? Where could that uh, that little lovesick Aaron boy have gotten off to? So many folks want uh, oh, so to for a beat down. Oh, 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 did I find it? Did I find him? Hmm? Yep. Yep, he's ba uh, back at the convenience store. You expected him to be somewhere else? Yeah, I guess I just need to make a little run around the block. So, I guess I, think I should probably go and quickly stock up on some, uh, some more extra healing items to give him.
river with you. There's the uh, there's the drugstore. Oh, and the Ooh. Might, as well, uh, you know, I, I might as well have a little bite of ramen too while I'm here. Yep. Yeah, one of these days I need to go to an actual no, ramen okay. place and get some real ramen, not the instant stuff, but the actual good stuff. To be fair, I've actually had genuine Japanese instant ramen one time. My mother and grandmother bought it back from a trip to Japan. It's quite nice. Hmm. Compared to most instant stuff that's down the west at least. Yeah. I mean, from what I've seen, even, even the instant stuff over there is a, is so much better than the instant stuff we have out here. Let's get a few... a, a few tough disease. Just to make sure I got no, enough to... <clears throat> for however many times this guy might, uh, might end up... Uh, getting himself hurt because uh, cause of his crush. Uh, yeah, at the rate he's going, he's going to end up seriously injuring himself. Ah. You're not wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, a little trip to Don Key then. <clears throat> okay, which one of these was Don? Oh, that one. <clears throat> a pair of new sneakers for a lover boy. Okay, Don Quixote. Okay, stamina, stamina, this chashu ramen, some seven up, mountain dew, pocket tissues, lumber. Ah, comfy shoes. Oh, sneakers! I can uh, I can give him options. Okay. 
Hopefully this will help, but a three year go of going oh. Oh, yeah. This guy is just screaming it's gonna end in heartbreak. Just overlook the uh, c uh, the convenient thing that I managed to get just the right size. See if a little scene transition will uh, have him back out here again. Him to show up again. Mm. <laughs> trip anyway cuz I want to find one of those uh, little card thi uh, thingies without, uh, without the notification thing but yeah I gotta take a little roundabout cuz uh, Mr. Shakedown appears to be in the area so yeah don't exactly want to risk it especially since I've got a, a, a fair bit saved up I'll be able to get to, get to the first 15 million yen upgrade. Oh, 
Absorbent sheet. Don't tell me. Uh, she's even got you got out buying pads, too. I'll make the delivery because, <sighs> yeah, I do. I uh, do. I'm. I'm. Uh, ca uh, uh, yeah, kind of wondering who's this one that he's uh, he's bending over backwards for, and all she's doing seems to be doing is just <laughs> making him nothing but a delivery boy. Uh. Absorbent sheet is basically just a tissue. Yeah, yeah, because with the title like absorbent sheet, it could go, it could go either way, obviously. But I suppose a tissue is a bit better than what I oh, the alternative. Douche too. Oh. Uh, oh. What? 
있고 Oh, you think he can kick my ass? Try me. Huh? Was satisfying. Go. I second, uh, second that, uh, that Majima. Hi. So he's gonna be uh, on the footpath now, can run errands for me. Okay. Now, to, uh, to uh, take care of the, la uh, the last of the, uh, 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 of the things I got dragged into, let's find, uh, find the guy who took, uh, took that one guy's pants. I think it's supposed to be somewhere on this side of the bridge. Up, and, and I think I see, I see where I need to go.
Oh boy. This guy's actually got uh, got some uh, some health on him. Well, he is one of the main characters of one of the main one of the, uh, one of the main games. This is pretty cool. Hit you got on me all the fight. Ah, uh, decent neck actually. <laughs> He's that big and he's in elementary school? Hi. Okay, what kind of genetics do you got to have that kind of a growth spurt when you're in the sixth fucking grade? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I was just thinking that. You technically speaking, you are a punk kid. I'm gonna be see so I'm definitely gonna be seeing more of Ryuji in the future. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, most certainly you'll be seeing more Ryuji. Uh, okay, t uh, time to dodge around, Mr. Shakedown. Uh? Looks like I'm not, I'm not quite done with Ryuji just yet. Quick save. Ryuji Goda. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sounds like, yeah, your paths are definitely going to cross again, Majima. Okay, with that done... Uh, the fact is, I actually get what that's alluding to, the reference of the, that entire yeah, sub-story, okay. including Majima's dialogue. And the fact it's gone completely over your head, it's like... Oof. Honestly, I gotta agree with this video I was watching earlier. Yakuza Zero is not a good place to enter into the series. Hmm. Because, honestly, it's like a... Yakuza Zero is like a love letter to the rest of the series. It's, it's like... There's so many references and world building that the other games did. The Yakuza Zero like either makes I, I suppose technically the callbacks in terms of like well I suppose technically but chronologically it'd be call forwards actually. Because it's a prequel it'd be call forwards, but mm -hmm. call forwards if you're if you're uh, play if you're playing it in chronological order of events, callbacks, you're playing it in order of release. Mm, yeah, basically. But there are so many of those that in, in this game and just references to the other games that it's just ridiculous. Though, have you met the Obitarian yet? The what now? Oh, never mind, I'm not going to spoil it. With all that, uh, that didn't care of. Now I can finally get on with the main story.支配人、お電話です。あの、オーナーだって言ってるんですけど。分かった。何の用や。お疲れさん。お前ちょっと今から出られないか。な。いやさ、お前と飲みたくなってよ。どういう風の吹き回しや。あいにく。あんたと酒飲む<笑> オーナーからの呼び出しや。いつ戻れるかわからんから、あと頼んだで。え、わかりました。主任にも伝えておきます。すまんの。
Mm, that that little uh, sound out you gives me a, a bit of a... Yeah, it makes me a little bit nervous for how this is going to turn out. You're now getting into the main meat of the story of this one. Can't say anything else. Mm, I'd imagine so because spoilers. Major spoilers. Even discussing the um, even this is one of those things that be like if it was on TV tropes, it the character page would be marked under major unmarked spoilers because you can't really discuss the character. Basically, the characters involved here. Uh, are like just like walking spoiler because you can't really discuss the character without spoiling a major portion of the story. Ooh, well, I have, this is gonna have to... <laughs> well, part of the characters involved, at least I should say. Okay. Luckily, you're near the end of the chapter, I think. <laughs> mm. Oh, hey, back phone. Haven't seen those in a long, long time. My, my parents used to have have one. Okay, you are obviously showing off your fancy uh, bag phone. Make it, make the phone spit in your pocket, then we'll talk. And what? I suspect I'm getting dragged into a fresh sub story. This one's a rather annoying sub story, so you can let it wait if you really want to. Since it's got multiple steps, kind of like with the. Uh... <clears throat> Aaron Kuhn. Uh -huh. However, this one's a lot more funny with its ending. That's just the start of it. All this, just, all this, just for me to, uh, me to save the game. <laughs>
Eight-hour charge time. What? to actually uh, save the game like I was originally intending. Okay, let's, uh, let's go and, ma uh, and make the run to Donkey. Oh, new oh, I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. They are pretty rough. <laughs> Ooh, over thir uh, 35 million. I can get a couple of upgrades at this point. Yes, let me see here. Let's see. I think first, gotta do the 15 million in Slugger to get more attack power. And do I want to go into Thug? I think that's. Oh yeah, definitely this one spot in Thug for the for more health. Let's see. Da, 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 da. One battery. Is there anything else I need to pick up for this guy while I'm here? Um. I actually don't know. Oh. 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 Oh, we'll just have to find out then. One battery. <laughs> I know there's a few errands you need to do to get uh, to get through this um, to get through this guy's sub storage. Just kind of like with our oh. one now, but uh, you know the the. Um, or anything, but I, I can't remember the um. I, I, I don't. Uh, I don't know what the items are. Not the top of my head, at least. Eh, we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way then. <laughs> okay, here's your battery, so what's what you got, what's you gonna break next? Good. 
Yeah. The, uh, yeah, those really early models are probably pretty heavy. Because, yeah, if I remember correctly, the bag that my parents had, had a little bit of weight to it as well. <sighs> Like some of those e extra healing items I, pi I picked up for, uh, picked up for Aaron Goon will come in handy right uh, right here. Correct. Got clocked good. Good. Uh -huh. huh? I think they're tough until they pick a fight with me. Shukafuchi store, hey?
Oh, looking for telephone cards, are you? Yeah, I just spotted the glow. Uh, spotted the glow on the on the floor, so I figured, eh, might as well go and grab it. about the power fighting styles that is quite satisfying. There he is. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I mean, he is technically right. I mean, when's the last time most folks have seen a payphone out in the wild? At least around the, uh, these parts, I cannot think of a th think of a time in recent memory that I have legitimately seen a working, functional payphone. Cool if your phone could take pictures. Hmm. Picks up, looks at smartphone and ca uh, built-in camera. Oh, I won wonder how cool <laughs> could that be? To be fair, the camera phone predates the smartphone. Mm -hmm. Only by a few years. Trust me, Majima. This ain't this this ain't a fad that's going away anytime soon. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. Now, might as well uh, might as well talk to him and uh, use the phone to save. Yeah, you can use the phone to save now and use certain box. <laughs> or at least save. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, looks like I still need to use the payphones if I want to use the item box, but... Yay! Oh wait, I'm going in the completely wrong way. That's right, I remember now. You're gonna use item box if you're in a hideout type location. 
See how much CP I've got saved up. Yeah. Abisu socks accessory. Yeah, well, I'll go until I can get to that money magnet three because I figure that's going to help with uh, getting extra money from enemies. Oh, I don't like the Abisu socks. They're annoying. They're useful, but they're annoying. Okay. They generate like a couple of yen with every step. So basically, a passive way to sub uh, to minorly supplement your uh, your money uh, making opportunities. Yes, but they make a very annoying noise. Okay, I gotta hear this for myself. <laughs> oh, wrong way. ここにいなとこに呼び出して何の用や。そう構えるなって。お前と飲みたいだけって言ったじゃねえか。ほら、座れよ。何にせよまずは一杯やってからだ。大将、こいつにも適当に見繕ってやって。こんなご時世だ。10万するフグの買い過ぎだの。100グラム1万の松坂牛だのなんだの。竹も荒かったくったけど。こんなボロい屋台の80円の大根が1万うめ。<laughs> I'm going to make a I guess that they're drinking sake there. Correct. Uh, so sake is one of the, another one of those things I have never tr uh, tried so far. And it looked like it was served hot. What <laughs> yeah, is it? It can be もう 
あの島野の兄弟がなんでお前みたいなやつを生かしておいてるんだか<笑>まあわけわかんねえよな極道の世界で親に逆らったやつは必ず相応の報いを受けるもんだ波紋絶縁その辺ならまだいいがひでえ時には人知れずなぶり殺しにされることもあるお前は穴ぐらいきっていうその最悪のケースを踏んじまったはずなんだだが穴ぐらでの拷問に1年間も耐え抜いたお前を島野はあそこから出した耐えたお前のタフさも信じられねえけど何より一度穴ぐらに落としたやつをあの島野が救うとはなだが島野がお前を許したかといえばそうでもない穴ぐらから出たお前は波紋も絶縁もされずに極道の世界から追放されたそして大門違いの兄弟分である俺にお前を預け敵として飼うように指示をした武闘派と呼ばれる島野が何でそんなに回りくどいことをしているのか奴の目的は一体何だろうなさあ俺が聞きたいくらい<笑>案外理由は単純でただ単にお前のケツの味が忘れられないだけなのかもしれねえな<笑>なんだよつまんねえやつだなそうだ一つお前に聞いてみたかったんだ、うん、なんでお前そんなに登場会に戻りてんだお前みてえな跳ね返りがこんなバスに耐え続けてまで西島大河だっけかお前が登場会にいた時の兄弟分だっけそいつのためって言ってたよなは人殺しの佐江島大河か当時は大騒ぎになったもんだ登場会と敵対していた地元組織上野清和会の会合に単身襲撃結果相手組員18人を射殺したんだからよ登場会の生ける伝説こっちでも随分話題になったけどその佐江島も今や無所の中18人もやったんだあとは死刑判決を待つだけだろうなのにお前はそいつのために登場会への復帰を望んでいるそこが分かんねえんだ兄弟は塀の中で死ぬような玉やないあいつは必ず戻ってくる俺を殺しにな殺しにあや何でもないもう過去の話やとにかく俺はどんな目に遭おうがどんな屈辱に遭おうが登場会でのし上がるなあかんねやはあなるほどねそうやって帰ってくるはずもない兄弟分の帰りを待ち続けてるってわけか登場会に戻って佐江島が戻ってきた時の席を用意する必要があるっつ<笑>泣ける話じゃねえかなあ<笑>あんたには関係あらへんまあ俺も大門違いとはいえ島野の兄弟には仲良くさせてもらってるからなでもまあ俺だったら自分の人生の全てを捨ててまで他人のために生きる道を選択する気にはなれねえなお前もいい大人なんだもっと器用に立ち回ってもいいんじゃないのかまあいいやお前が俺に言われて素直に入って言わない男なのは分かってるじゃあお望みの本題に入ろうかお前人を一人殺せるか殺しああそうだなんで俺がそんなようなことを言ったじゃねえか極道に戻れるなら何でもやるってよ違うのか
そないなことせんでも俺は店の売り上げあと5億あげて極道に戻るオデッセイから望みを引き抜いてかもう知っとんのかけどさもし俺がオデッセイに連絡すりゃその話今からでもなかったことにできるんだよなんやと<笑>まあつまりお前の未来は俺の手の中にあるってことだ金儲けさせた上に人殺しまで手伝いっちゅうんかどっちも大事なことなんだよ俺にとってもお前にとっても<笑>誰をやればいいんや牧村誠聞いたことないか誰やそれ知らないか最近蒼天堀で荒稼ぎしてる売春組織の元締めだ売春牧村はそこらの女子大生やら若い女を捕まえては稼がせてその上がりを吸い上げてるその上組織から逃げ出そうもんなら見せしめに赤ん坊の埋めねえ体にされるってよ相手がクズでよかったなやりやすくなっただろうその牧村って男はどこにおるんそれを調べるのも仕事のうちだ牧村は女たちにテレクラで男を釣らせてる探るんなら末端の女どもから当たるのがいいだろうテレクラで牧村の息のかかった女を探すっちゅうことか仕事の期限は2日だそれまでに的を仕留めろもしそれを超えた場合今度はお前が狙われる立場になるいいな空楽しみだな殺しの方法はお前に任せる仕事を終えたら<笑>この番号へかけろ分かったマジマちゃん最後に確認しとくぞ殺しに人数や相手は関係ねえ1人殺そうが18人殺そうが成人を殺そうがクズを殺そうが人殺しは人殺しやった瞬間真っ当な人生には二度と戻れなくなる街を歩こうが家にいようが人を殺したっていう記憶が頭から離れなくなる極道の先輩として忠告しておくけど殺しなんてやらないで済むならその方がいい当たり前だよなでもお前はてめえの目的のために見ず知らずの誰かを殺せるかうるさいわどっちみち人の一人殺せんやつは極道として犯人前ややっとるわそうかごちそうさんこいつの分もこれであとは好きに飲んでくれあガンもうまいぞ食っとけ<笑>じゃあ頼んだよ<笑>牧村誠はい、その後に言われたら、私はこの人を殺すと、私はこの人を殺すと、私はこの人を殺すと、私はこの人を殺すと、私はこの人
Okay, let's get a little quick save in. Hmm. Okay, part of me is thinking that this might be a good a good spot to uh, call it for tonight, cause I do I do have a an, I have a tabletop game that's that if it starts on time, it will be starting in less than an hour. So I should probably t take the time uh, time to uh, get ready for that. That would probably be wise. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this has been, been uh, this has just been a, quite the uh, entertaining stream going through all those side uh, those uh, sub stories. <laughs> and now we're getting and now we ha can look forward to truly getting into the uh, to the uh, like you said the meat of Majima's story. Oh no, I was talking about the meat the story in general. Oh. Kiyu and Majima's stories are intertwined in uh, ways you won't yet realize. It'll become clear in time, but I cannot go into detail without spoiling. <laughs> ah, this has been a Definitely a real fun stream, hey amen. Yeah, the more I go, the more I get, uh, get invested into the series. I can see why so many people enjoy it. Yeah, thank you so, uh, thank you so, uh, so much uh, again for joining me, Stormy. Of course, <laughs> it was my pleasure. Now, let's take a little look, see who is streaming that we could possibly raid before we uh, wrap things up for tonight. Let me see. Looks like uh, Horror Master is, stre is streaming, so we can uh, we can uh, give uh, give uh, give her a little uh, a little raid. And make sure once again that I spell it correctly. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, well it. Well, th 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 thank you everyone who came by to watch the stream. I hope you all had fun. Next scheduled stream sh uh, should be Sunday, although 
I'm not quite sure what, uh, what I'm going to be playing this Sunday because at th this point, Portal 2 is pretty much largely wrapped up. Only really didn't have like a single bonus set, a set of co-op puzzles, but that's probably gonna be a relatively light thing. So it's gonna be a co-opted with another multi, a multiplayer co-op type stream. So, hmm. well, let's see what uh, what uh, what ends up being the next stream, the next ga uh, ga uh, game that I, uh, uh, that I bring around. But until then. Uh, you all t uh, take care now, and mm, see you next time. Bye-bye. Hmm. Okay, raid's looking good. And launching in three, two, one. Here we go.